What is a Kubernetes deployment? A Kubernetes deployment is a process to inform Kubernetes of producing or modifying instances of the pods that hold a containerized application. Deployments are a method used to scale the number of replica pods, alter rollout of updated code in a controlled manner, or roll back to an earlier deployment version if necessary. Why Kubernetes Deployment Strategy? In Kubernetes, there are specific methods to launch an application. It is essential to select the right approach to make your infrastructure reliable during an application deployment or update. For example, it is usually required to ensure that the end user doesn't experience any downtime in a production environment. Besides that, developers do several mistakes while deploying a Kubernetes application. Though selecting the right Kubernetes deployment processes several mistakes. Benefits of using a Kubernetes deployment As a container orchestration management tool, Kubernetes allows to automate the work and repetitive manual functions that are significant steps used in deploying, scaling, and updating applications in production. Hence, Kubernetes deployments are a process to automate the whole process right from when the pod instances are launched and at the same time ensures that these pods are running as defined states across the nodes in the cluster. More automation translates to unmanned processes that ensure faster deployments with fewer errors. Types of Kubernetes Deployment Strategy Kubernetes offers several deployment strategies to meet a wide range of application development and deployment needs. Once you have defined the desired state of your application, the deployment controller works to make the desired changes at a controlled change rate. Let's have a look at the best 5 Kubernetes deployment types one can choose for application deployment. Recreate deployment. As the name suggests, the currently running pod instances are terminated in the recreate strategy and these instances are recreated with the new version. This strategy is used primarily in a development environment where user activity isn't an issue and recreating instances refreshes the pods and the state of the apps. Keep a note here that the recreate strategy involves downtime during both the times of the shutdown of the old deployment and initiation of instances of the new deployment. 2. Rolling update deployment. As a Kubernetes deployment strategy, a rolling update is followed to deploy new instances of a service. The new instances start receiving requests right away, and the old instances are terminated. Rolling updates are the default behavior in Kubernetes. This deployment releases a new replica set with the new version. Then it scales up the newly launched replica set while scaling down the old one and maintains the desired replica count. Blue, green deployment. The blue, Green deployment is a strategy that allows a rapid transition from the old application version to the new application version. Once the new version is validated in production, all the traffic is switched to the new version. The exciting thing is that the new, green, version can be deployed along with the existing, blue, version. After the switch, the application is monitored for any problems. If anything goes wrong, it provides rapid rollout to the old version. Or, if everything goes well, one can delete the old version. Canary Deployment Canary Deployment strategy refers to the process of rolling out the updated version to a smaller group of users. Then the new releases are monitored to check their functionality in the production environment. Once satisfied that testing was error-free, it is rolled out for broader users. Canary deployment allows slow rollout in a controlled fashion, and it lets you test new functionality on a smaller scale and roll back if anything goes wrong. Canary deployment is an excellent way to measure how the new code affects the overall behavior of your system. A. V testing A. V testing is a way of testing features and functionality within an application. It is different from blue, 
green deployment and canary releases and is usually associated with UT parts of the application. A. B testing is helpful to test an application for metrics like usability, popularity, noticeability, etc. However, one can employ blue, green deployments with A. B testing to deploy new features in the app and simultaneously check the app's functionality by using A. B testing.